You know, sometimes our children find themselves in awkward situations. It's not uncommon for a young person to find themselves in a group chat that they didn't invite themselves into. And in this group chat now, they didn't necessarily want to be in it, but now they're in it. And it's hard to get out of a group chat once you're in it. And so they're in this group chat and they're kind of stuck in there. And now pictures are being shared that are inappropriate or things are being said or language is being used that's not appropriate. Children need to know how to process these things. And so you can come in and you can help a child know how to deal with these things if you're checking up on text history or, or browser history to make sure that your child's doing the right kind of thing. This is what we call accountability. And accountability is great for building integrity. It's great for helping children to do what's right. So we're looking for ways to do that. Another way that you're going to want to use um, physical controls as a parent is by parking the cell phone at certain times. I would suggest that cell phones should be parked at night at a certain time. You know, whether your bedtime's 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, or whenever you decide, then cell phones need to be done and electronics need to be over by that time. Because what happens is that sometimes children spend their evening and their night uh, involved in electronics that aren't that helpful. So park them in my room at 10 o'clock, you might say to a teenager, or 8 o'clock to a, a younger child. That, that's where they get parked overnight so the child doesn't have access to them. That's a way of physically controlling the phone. But it's not just nighttime. 